cool, ready to go. All right, welcome to series two of Dorney's Daring's episode two. master of the utility role, where's your ideal position? Um, yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't know, I, I can't really answer that, I just enjoy being on the field. Uh, this year I sort of, you know, enjoyed playing in the middle, playing loose forward, uh, but as long as I'm on the field, I'm not too bothered. Yeah, you copped a big hit from Sean O'Loughlin, which I'm sure we'll show during this little section of the show. Have you uh, have you felt all right since, afterwards? Yeah, yeah, legs are a little bit wobbly, but I'm all right. Is that what caused the, the six stitches in the eye? Uh, no, I don't know where that was from. I think that was a, a head clash between me and Paul Prescott. Yeah. Not hard enough head? Nah, nah. Now, you're a fully trained physiotherapist, and you do a lot of work with the academy. How do you find that? Yeah, it's good. I enjoy it. You know, keep my hand in, um, doing bits and pieces, and keeping those lads fit on the field. Yeah. Got some good kids coming through. Anyone you can recommend for the people watching? Um, yeah, well, sort of when I first started, four or five years ago, like Dan Sargison and uh, then Kieran were sort of coming through and Sam Bolger. Uh, there's a couple of young lads. Um, Caden Monks goes all right. A lad called Elliot Barnes in the 16s. That hopefully next year or so they'll be up in the 18s. They're going all right. Favourite Super League ground to play on? Uh, I do quite enjoy playing at the DW, even though it's sort of the best now as the venue that I used to play at. Uh, the atmosphere is pretty good, you know, getting from a big crowd and the you know, crowd are pretty hostile for the away from the team, but you know, they get behind you if you're one of the home players. Now, we've just had an interview previously uh, with a guy, we'll call him uh, Mr. Tony C. Now, he said that he's physically, he's actually requested to change weight scoop so he doesn't have to travel with you, since you live so close. Why do you think that might be? What, he wants to travel with me or? He doesn't want to travel with you. He doesn't so. want to travel with me. I don't know. I think he's got issues that he uh, I, I maybe talk too much or uh, conversations maybe a bit too sort of above where he wants to talk. And he's pretty into his cartoons and I think he's Disney he enjoys. So that's not just something. Yeah, now there's a lot of talk going on about Paul Cook and Dragons being stolen. For the people on the Twitter world know about it. You've been pointed as a possible suspect. How'd you like to? Uh, to yeah, uh, Dave Lawrence and a couple of lads have tried to stitch me up and say I'm part of his Literally. little gang. Yeah, yeah a little, 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 little Yeah, um, and tried to say that I'm part of his little gang, and you know, I can quite honestly say I've, I've never seen um, or know of what his dragon looks like. Not a Warhammer fan, then? Nah, not a Warhammer fan. Chris, now if you, we've done it a few times with everybody. If you could make the ultimate London Broncos play using attributes from different people in the team, what would you take and why? In our team. In our team. Um, for physicality, I'd have Foose. Uh, the size of him, he's a big presence. Uh, for for hand-eye skill, I'd probably take self. You know, he's pretty good at that. My calves as well, um, probably. Yeah, your yeah. calves. You know, I'd stay away from Harley's calves. And not big enough. Uh, and speed, you know, speed off the mark, I'd probably have Kieran Dixon. Uh, he's, he's pretty good. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Tackling, I'd... Jace Golden's pretty good uh, defensively, so I'd yeah, probably be given there as long as he doesn't get his head in the wrong way. Good enough for himself, yeah. Um, yeah, uh, and then Michael Witt's kicking game. I'd probably put that in there, he's, he's pretty good. Not his goal kicking because you'd obviously fancy yourself. Well, like yeah, I'd, I'd, you know, I, I didn't want to big myself up too much, I'd probably put myself in there for all of them. Well, speaking of bigging yourself up, I dare say there's going to be a lot of opportunities for other players in the team, and they'll probably dare say have a go at you. You've got a bit of a reputation for being a bit of a snore, snore fest here. <laughs> but the boys give Mello plenty of hard time about his uh, about his boring stories. Here's your chance to unleash on someone else. Who would you like to pick on as the most boring man in the team? Yeah, boss boy. Well, yeah, Warhammer probably takes it. You know, Cookie, as soon as he starts talking about Warhammer, everybody switches off. Um, it's probably one of the most boring subjects, but yeah, it gets the most mentions because it is such you know, ridiculous as soon as he starts to look in at Now Liam Colvin gives him a hard time about that. Do you think there's a secret little bit of jealousy about it? Because there's quite a lot of quite a lot of banter goes on from Colvin towards him. Is there there's some sort of jealousy there? Yeah, I don't know if it's jealousy or you know wanting the attention a little bit. So Colby tries to you know take a little bit of that attention by creating this thing about Warhammer being such a such a crazy thing that he wants to get involved in. He wants a little bit of that attention. Perhaps a little bit of a secret fan there. He wants to get in on the action. 
All right, there you go. Chris Smelling rated number three on the top Derek list for the year. Thanks very much. We'll see you next time.